Welcome to World Insight, please subscribe and hit the bell icon for more breaking updates. An aircraft carrier is much more than just a ship. It is a mobile airbase, a floating fortress that projects air power across the globe, serving as a symbol of technological prowess and military might. It overcomes the limits of land-based airfields, allowing a nation to respond rapidly to crises, deliver humanitarian aid, and control vast areas of sea and sky wherever needed. Unlike fixed airbases, carriers are constantly on the move, making them elusive targets that can reposition quickly in response to changing threats. Their presence signals military strength and commitment to global interests, reassuring allies and deterring potential adversaries. At the heart of a carrier strike group, the carrier is protected by cruisers, destroyers, and submarines, ensuring its focus remains on air operations while being shielded from threats above and below the waves. The combined force of a carrier strike group dominates both sea and air, forming the backbone of modern naval strategy and enabling power projection far from home shores. The U.S. Navy has long led in carrier operations, with a fleet of nuclear-powered supercarriers central to its global reach and unmatched operational tempo. Other nations like the UK, France and India operate carriers but on a smaller scale, each adapting the concept to their own strategic needs and regional ambitions. Building and operating a carrier demands advanced technology, a vast industrial base, and highly trained crews, making it one of the most complex undertakings in modern engineering. Possessing a powerful carrier is a bold statement of national power and ambition, reflecting a country's ability to influence events far beyond its own borders. For any nation with global aspirations, an aircraft carrier is an indispensable asset, an icon of strength, flexibility and reach on the world stage. Recent satellite images from Dalian Shipyard reveal China's fourth aircraft carrier, the Type 004, under construction, showcasing the nation's rapid shipbuilding progress. The ship's massive hull blocks suggest it will be China's largest warship yet, dwarfing previous carriers in both scale and ambition. Notably, the absence of smokestacks hints at a nuclear-powered design, a first for China, and a major technological leap forward. Modular construction techniques are speeding up the build, with experts, predicting a launch before the decade's end, possibly even sooner. The Type 004's development marks a shift from speculation to reality, confirming China's intent to field a true blue water navy for the future. This nuclear carrier is more than a ship, it's a symbol of China's long-term strategic ambitions and growing maritime influence. The world is watching closely as China moves from regional power to global naval contender, reshaping maritime dynamics. The Type 004 is set to redefine the balance of power at sea for years to come. Nuclear propulsion is a true game-changer for the Type 004 and the future of the Chinese Navy, representing a bold leap forward in maritime technology and strategy. Unlike conventional carriers, which require frequent and time-consuming refueling stops, a nuclear-powered carrier can operate for years without interruption, vastly extending its range, endurance, and operational tempo. Nuclear reactors generate immense reliable power, not only driving the ship at high speeds but also supporting advanced radar, electronic warfare and future energy weapons. The freed up space from eliminating massive fuel tanks allows for more aircraft fuel munitions and essential supplies, enabling longer, more intense operations far from home ports. The US has decades of experience with nuclear carriers. For China, scaling up from nuclear submarines to a full-sized supercarrier is a major engineering and logistical leap. The reliability and safety of the Type 004's reactors will be closely scrutinized, both at home and by navies around the world, as China enters this new technological frontier. If successful, China will gain unprecedented operational flexibility, global reach, and the ability to project power far beyond its regional waters. The shift to nuclear power marks a new era for the plan, signaling China's intent to join the ranks of the world's most advanced navies. The Type 004's extraordinary endurance will allow it to respond to crises anywhere, anytime, even in the most challenging conditions at sea. This leap in capability is central to China's ambitions for a world-class navy, reshaping the balance of power on the world's oceans for decades to come. The Type 004 is set to be a true supercarrier, possibly surpassing even America's largest warships in size. This ambitious project represents a bold leap forward for China's naval engineering, signaling a new era in maritime power. The scale and complexity of the Type 04 are unlike anything previously attempted by the Chinese Navy, 
and its construction is being closely watched by military analysts around the world. Estimates suggest a displacement of up to 120,000 tons, making it the world's largest warship. This immense size not only allows for more aircraft and equipment, but also provides greater endurance and survivability on long deployments. The Type 004's sheer scale will set a new benchmark for naval engineering. Its vast flight deck will support a high sortie rate and a large, diverse air wing. This means the carrier can launch and recover more aircraft in less time, giving it a significant tactical advantage during operations. The ability to host a variety of aircraft types from fighters to early warning planes will make it a versatile force multiplier. The flat deck design enables catabar operations, launching heavier aircraft with electromagnetic catapults emails. This advanced system is a major upgrade over traditional ski jump carriers, allowing for the deployment of next-generation aircraft and heavier support planes. Emails technology, already used on the USS Gerald R. Ford, allows smoother, more efficient launches and supports a wider range of aircraft. This innovation reduces wear and tear on both the aircraft and the carrier, increasing operational readiness and flexibility for the fleet. The combination of nuclear power, massive size and advanced launch systems marks a quantum leap for China's navy. Nuclear propulsion grants the Type 04 virtually unlimited range and endurance, enabling it to remain at sea for months at a time without refueling. The Type 04 will integrate all the elements of a modern supercarrier, unlimited range, a huge air wing, and cutting-edge technology. Advanced sensors, communications, and defensive systems will ensure it can operate effectively in contested environments. It's a clear statement of China's intent to rival the world's top naval powers. The presence of such a vessel will reshape the balance of power in the Asia-Pacific and beyond, sending a strong message to allies and adversaries alike. The ship's capabilities will transform China's ability to project power globally. With the Type 004, China can conduct sustained operations far from its shores, supporting its interests and influence on a truly global scale. The Type 004 is the centerpiece of China's naval ambitions, representing not just a ship, but a symbol of the nation's growing maritime strength and technological prowess. The Type 004's true power lies in its air wing, expected to be the largest and most advanced in the Chinese Navy. With capacity for over 90 aircraft, it will outmatch even U.S. Ford-class carriers. The core will be advanced J-15T fighters and the new stealthy J-35, giving China a formidable edge in air combat. Support aircraft like the KJ-600 will provide early warning and battlefield awareness, mirroring U.S. capabilities electronic warfare planes, anti-submarine helicopters, and drones will round out the carrier's arsenal. EMAL's catapults will enable the launch of heavy fighters and large drones, expanding operational flexibility. This diverse air wing will make the Type 004 a dominant force in any theater. The carrier's aviation capabilities are central to China's global power projection. China's rise as a carrier power has been rapid and strategic. It began with the Liaoning, a refurbished Soviet hull, followed by the domestically built Shandong, both early carriers use ski jump ramps and conventional power, serving as vital training platforms. The third carrier, Fujian, introduced a flat deck and emails catapults, marking a major technological leap. However, Fujian remains conventionally powered, limiting its range. Each carrier has been a stepping stone, allowing China to master new technologies and operational skills. The Type 004 is the culmination of this journey, combining nuclear propulsion, advanced launch systems, and a massive air wing. This step-by-step -step approach reflects China's long-term vision for a world-class navy. The lessons learned from each ship have paved the way for the Type 004. Now China stands on the brink of joining the elite club of nuclear carrier powers. The Type 004's arrival signals a seismic shift in global naval power. For decades, only the U.S. could deploy nuclear-powered carrier strike groups worldwide. China's new carrier will challenge that dominance, enabling sustained operations far from home. The Type 004 is designed for global presence, not just regional influence. Its unlimited range will let China protect trade routes and project power across oceans. However, building the ship is just the beginning. Mastering carrier operations will take years. China must train thousands to operate, maintain, and coordinate a nuclear carrier strike group. The world will watch closely as China tackles these challenges. The Type 004 is more than a ship. It's a declaration of ambition 
and a harbinger of a new era at sea. The future of naval power is being rewritten before our eyes.